In the next 50 or 75 years, do you think it is conceivable that we will be able to establish enough self-sustaining colonies on Mars? No. Elon Musk's enthusiasm for Mars notwithstanding, in 1969 when we landed on the moon, there were all these articles that came out where they said, we're on the moon in 1969, we'll have colonies on Mars by 1985. You realize we have not left low Earth orbit since 1972, 52 years ago. And you're asking me in 50 years whether we're going to have colonies on Mars? You're asking that because it looks like that's just the next thing to happen. However, that's not why we ever went anywhere in space. We went into space because we felt threatened by the godless communists, and we were reacting to everything they did in space. They put up Sputnik. We freaked out. We founded NASA. They put up a dog. We put up a chimp, and this kept going. And then we got to the moon. We looked over our shoulder. Wait, where are the Ruskins? Oh, they're not here. Okay, then we ended the space program. We had Apollo 18 ready to fly. We never flew it because the Russians said, we ain't following you to the moon. Y'all it's crazy, okay? So, but we're going back to the moon now. Project Artemis. Well, why are they going now? Why did they stay on the moon in 1972 or go back in 1980 or 1990 or 2000 or 2010? Why? Oh, China says they want to put astronauts on the moon. And all of a sudden, hey, wouldn't it be good if we went back to the moon? Yeah, sure, let's do that. And Trump announces this, and it smoothly goes into the Biden administration, and it's going to continue back. That's something that transcends all politics.